Now this is the first video I'm doing in a series. A lot of the things I'll mention in this video will be covered in more detail in uh, future videos. For this video we're just taking a quick look at basic circuit. So some components can be plugged directly to a power supply or a voltage. As long as they are rated for that voltage they will limit the current from there. So a light bulb is uh, an incandescent light bulb I should say is one of them. So they have the schematic symbol. I like this one right there. I see that from time to time, but I think this one is more common right there. And then I'll have lines coming out there for the uh, connections. But in uh, any case, you can plug it directly to a battery, not literally directly to a battery. Usually you'd have a light bulb holder, and then for a 9 volt battery, you'd have the uh, battery snap with wires, and then there'd be uh, connectors to connect those wires to the uh, holder. Probably the holder already has those connectors. But in uh, any case, you can power the light bulb directly from a 9 volt uh, battery. And uh, as long as it's rated for 9 volts, it's going to limit the current. It has a filament in there and uh, current flows, if you think conventional current, positive and negative. If you think electron flow, uh, negative to positive. But in any case, it's a cycle right there. It uh, flows continuously. The filament heats up, it gets hot enough to emit light right there. So light bulbs are rare though in basic electronics uh, now. And uh, so let's look at the LED. The LED really cannot be connected directly to a voltage source. It can if it's very low, but uh, for the most part, you want a protective resistor right there. So we got a pictorial here, and then we have a couple different version of schematics uh, right there. One thing to note though, is this one represents a 5 volt power supply lighting an LED. The LED needs a resistor to protect it. So these are the recommended uh, minimum value resistors that uh, I recommend for the uh, voltage that you see there. And uh, so 220 ohms for 5 volts. So that's going to limit current through the LED. LED has to be inserted in the right way. That is the anode there that goes towards the more positive side of the power supply. When you see a physical LED that will be the longer lead if you haven't trimmed them. The uh, cathode to the uh, negative side of the power supply, often called ground, so that's a ground symbol, we consider that zero volts, uh, negative side of a battery. And uh, there you can see a shorter lead there, going to the negative side of a nine volt battery. 470 ohms will protect an LED pretty nicely from nine volts, and a 1000 ohm, one K, one kilo ohm, will protect an LED pretty nicely from 12 volts. And so here we have the LEDs on the breadboard. We're using a power supply instead of a battery. And you can see we got the banana plugs going to positive and negative right there. The wires coming to these alligator clips over there. Power supply is set to 5 volts right now. And we can look at how much current it's providing. So the three LEDs all together are providing 23 milliamps of current. That's what the power supply needs to provide to them. And that's how much current's going through the three of them put together. That one has the most, it's the brightest, 220 ohm resistor. We'll come to that. But in any case, alligator clips come there. There's a, some little uh, metal jumpers there that uh, pins that go to the uh, right row right there. That goes all the way down. It's connected all the way down, as is that side down there. So I got a wire coming across, black wire. And then same thing with the uh, red side right there. And uh, that whole row right coming over there to this row right here. So you can see we got the resistors to the positive row, the uh, red row, and uh, little gray jumper down there to the negative row. These go five across and uh, they're separated, each uh, each one. So there's five dots that are connected. So we got this LED long lead anode to the uh, resistor there, short lead the cathode down. And you can see that is the brightest of the three LEDs right there because it's the lowest value resistor. It's resisting the least, it's letting the most current flow through. And uh, so that LED is the uh, brightest. So we got the five volts. As I said before, we can uh, get a higher voltage with higher value resistors. So I'm gonna remove that one so it doesn't get too hot, which we will cover in uh, different videos. And uh, nine volts is about as high of a voltage as you want for a 470 ohm resistor. There you can see the LED got brighter. And then finally, we can uh, pluck that one. You see the current went way down. And we got the one kilo ohm resistor right there, which works well for when you get up to uh, 12 volts right there. And uh, so 
the current's not as high as uh, we would like, but uh, it is uh, safe for the resistor. We have to be careful we don't overheat the resistor by dissipating uh, too much power. Covered in other videos, but in any case, there you can see the LED is not terribly dim, and if you want uh, brighter LEDs, you're not uh, having to have a uh, red LED. The blue LED actually has a speckless current going through it, but it's a brighter LED. So that's a modification you can make. But we're keeping this video simple. So hope you enjoyed. Make sure you check out one of the other videos that I'm posting the screen. That would help out the most. And check out the links down below. They all help. I'll see you in the next video.